welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale haul. Technically speaking, this isn't a VIB sale haul um, because I am a Sephora employee, so I get my employee discount, but I just happened to do a haul during this time because I just celebrated my 25th birthday and I wanted to treat myself and it just happened to be the same time as the sale. So lots of new fun stuff was coming out and I wanted to share what I picked up with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up from Sephora in the last two-ish weeks, then just keep on watching. Most of the stuff in here is higher end, bougie stuff that has been on my loves list for so long and I just wanted to treat myself to. I got a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products because I am going to be doing my full face one brand on Charlotte Tilbury, which I am so flippin' excited about. You guys know how much I love Charlotte's products. Um, and then I did purchase a bunch of other stuff to do a full face using clean at Sephora products. So it was a treat myself haul, but it was also stuff that I need for videos that I have planned moving forward. This is the biggest, most expensive like splurge of the haul, so I'm gonna do it first. I bit the bullet and got a full size of the Lila B Aglow Priming Oil. I would never ever have purchased this if I hadn't used it and understand understood the benefits that it has for my skin. It's my favorite primer that I've ever found ever. I've been raving about it for months and months. I've now gone through three of the mini ones and it just didn't make sense to purchase another mini. So I got the full size. It's so expensive. I'm not even going to say the price out loud. You guys can look it up. So this is the 30 milliliter bottle. This is the biggest one that they sell and it's my favorite primer. It just does incredible things for my skin. If you have dry skin, you will love this. If you love moisture, if you love an insane dewy glow, this is beautiful. It's beautiful on its own. It's beautiful under low coverage foundations. It's beautiful under full coverage foundations. It doesn't break me out. It's just like everything I could personally ask for in a primer, Um, but it's crazy expensive. So it's a smart purchase in my eyes and I'm very happy that I now own it. Then I have another skincare product um, and then we will get into mostly makeup. This is the newer release from Pharmacy. This is the only product I've ever really used from Pharmacy other than the Green Clean uh, Cleansing Balm. This is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This is a newer release from them. Again, purchase this after having used a sample. That's typically what I do, especially with skincare because I have very sensitive, very acne prone skin. So I like to try something out for a period of time, at least once or twice and see how I like it. I got a decent sample of this, used it five days in a row and immediately fell in love. It is so incredibly hydrating. This as a base with my Lila B oil on top, my skin has never looked or felt better and more hydrated and healthy. So if you have really dry skin, if you have sensitive skin, if you have acne prone skin, heading into winter, you want intense hydration. This is where it's at. My skin has been absolutely loving it. It is such a gorgeous, like creamy, but somewhat emollient texture it's definitely like a richer cream it's not a gel which is typically not what you would want if you have really dry skin you want a richer cream and it does come with a steel metal comes with a metal spatula um which is magnetic so it stays on top of the lid and you can sanitize the spatula to reduce like contamination and uh, bacteria growth and stuff like that. This moisturizer has been really, really impressing me and I'm glad that I picked it up. So I picked up a brow product for my full face clean at Sephora. This is the Ilia Essential Brow Natural Volumizing Brow Gel with aloe and shea butter and sunflower seed oil. And I picked up the shade Blonde. So I have heard good things about Ilia. I've tried some of their products and I really like them. And with a kind of clean at Sephora look, I just feel like it will look better with a more fluffy brow and I love trying out new brow gels. So that is what this one looks like. It's a really, really big brush applicator. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to like that. And it also looks like a really warm blonde brown. So I don't know how I'm going to like that, but I'll wait and do it first impression in my clean at Sephora video. Um, I'll be filming that in my full face Charlotte Tilbury within the next week or two. For that same video, I picked up the Lawless Seal the Deal Loose Translucent Setting Powder 
calc free. This is the smaller size. Definitely not worth the value to get the smaller size for this guy. Um, if you look at the grams or yeah, if you look at the grams and like ounces on the product, it's really not worth it to get the mini. But I did just because I have a ton of translucent setting powders, powders in general, and I just wanted it for the video. I wanted to try it out. I've heard amazing things. So this is what it looks like. Hopefully it will be light enough for me. It looks kind of similar to the tone of the Laura Mercier loose translucent powder which is a touch too dark for me so hopefully it's fine worst case if it is too dark I will return it but got this for that video and I'm excited to try it out I've heard really really good things about this powder and being more acne prone and sensitive talc free is always a good thing for me again for the clean at Sephora video I purchased the Tower 28 Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm I got mine in happy hour which probably isn't a surprise if you know me I am very partial to a hot pink blush, hot pink lip, hot pink anything. I just love pink tones on me way more than nudes or like warm toned lips or cheeks. So this is what the blush looks like. It's the cutest freaking packaging I've ever seen. So this is the shade Happy Hour and the blush is the Beach Please blush. A really, really gorgeous texture too. It's more of like a waxy finish than your typical cream blush, but it seems super, super hydrating and blendable. So that's the shade there. So I'm very, very excited to try this out. I've been wanting to try products from Tower 28 in general for a long time. We do carry them at my Sephora location and I've heard really good things about everything they've launched so I'm excited to try this out and wear it in that video. I'm just excited in general for that video if you can't tell. And then the last thing that I got for the clean at Sephora video is from the Sephora collection line itself. This product I've been so amped for since it launched. I don't know why I didn't purchase it sooner. This is the Sephora S Clean Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. I got mine in the shade 1, which is described as a warm yellow undertone, which is usually what I go for. So that's what that looks like there. I think it'll be a really good color match for me, actually. It looks very similar swatched um, to a lot of my other favorite foundations, and it glides on the skin. I don't know if you can tell there, but it looks so nice and smooth and like glowy and healthy on the skin, just on the back of my hand. I've swatched it twice now, and it looks amazing. So it is for formulated with matcha tea and vitamin c to hydrate the skin and it has a light buildable coverage i'm really really excited to try this this is probably the product that i'm most excited to try out in my full face clean video just because it sounds so up my alley and sephora collection products in general are very underrated i think they have some incredible stuff so i'm excited that they're venturing into like more clean skincare more clean makeup and this seems really promising so i'm excited to try that out and the shade looks really good too which is perfect because i did order that one online so i have been eyeing these for a while since they launched like a month or two ago and I decided to pick one up obviously this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip stain and I went for the shade hot pink I love pinks I was debating between their nude shades but they seem too warm or neutral for me if they had had a lighter cool tone pink I would have done that over the hot pink but since it's a lip stain I figured I can sheer it out I've been really impressed so far I wore it yesterday for the first time and like kind of blotted it and then did a lip balm on top and it looked amazing didn't move under my mask so again this is in hot pink and it is a classic lip stain so it's going to be super super intense pigmented very like a watery formulation and then from there you just go ahead and blend it out you do have to be super super careful with these because you can see where I first applied it it sticks to that area and gets way more opaque and pigmented in that area so when you apply these you really want to apply it with like a lip brush and apply it very evenly and then blot it rather than focusing it in one area and then blending you want to start blending right away so that's kind of like a downside to them but if you apply them properly and you know that going into it it's really really a cool and pretty product as a lip stain it's so pretty it's like a highlighter pink honestly it looks like i put highlighter on my hand but it's really pretty and i'm happy that i picked it up i think lip stains in general are like a very cool practical product especially with the masks and everything that we're wearing i do have one more product that i kind of splurged on this and the lila b were like my top two splurges of the haul this is new for holiday it is the dior backstage glow face palette 004 rose gold so there's a sheer 
highlight, a metallic, a metallic, and a shimmer. So there's three different formulations in there and four different shades. Um, it has the same packaging as the Dior like contour palette that I love. I love Dior products in general. I'm obsessed. I just think Dior does face products so gorgeously. And this is perfect for a fair toned girl. This pink one, I will definitely use more as a blush topper than anything else. But these three are fully light enough for me to use as my highlight. They're really gorgeous. Um, the formulation is just like top, top tier. Um, Dior's highlights, face products, lip products, they just do really well. I'm just happy that I have this. I think it's really, really pretty and I will reach for it a lot. I just know it. And you have like different tones for every look you could possibly want. So love, love this. Very excited to have it. And then I went a little ham on Charlotte Tilbury products. So I picked up up four products from Charlotte Tilbury um, to fully complete my full face look. Now I have everything that I need. Um, so I will be filming that soon, but I picked up the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. This is a full coverage, long lasting concealer. I picked up the shade One, um, One Fair, just because the second one looked really, really pink. I just want this to use just under the eye, so I'm okay if it's a little bit lighter. Um, so it does have like a little doe foot spongy applicator, which isn't ideal for like contamination. And if you're like a working makeup artist, I'm just using it on myself. So I really could care less. That is what the shade looks like there. So it's a little bit more yellow in its undertone, which I like, and it looks really pretty. The coverage is definitely pretty full right off the bat, but blends out nicely. You can't really see much on the back of my hand. It's just a concealer, but the packaging is gorgeous. I've heard amazing things. I love Charlotte's products, so I'm excited to give this guy a go. Then I picked up a lip product that she is super, super well known for. This is her Collagen Lip Bath, and I got mine in the shade Rosy Glow. I was going to do Pillow Talk, but I wanted something with a little bit more depth to it that I can wear with darker lips as well if I wanted to. So this is the Collagen Lip in Rosy Glow. It's super, super pretty. More of like a pink, warm pink than Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk's lighter, more nude, and a little bit more cool. Whereas this is a little bit more warm. So that is what that looks like there in Rosy Glow. I think it'll go really well with pink lips and with nude lips and with like a darker brown. So I just felt like it was more versatile and I'd get more use out of it in this shade. So I'm happy I picked this up. I'll obviously be using it in my full face Charlotte. I have tried it on once since purchasing and it's very comfortable on the lips. It has like a pepperminty taste and feeling. It's really pretty. I'm enjoying it so far. And then I have two of Charlotte's most recent launches. The first is her Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. This released fairly recently and I decided just to pick up the mini because I'm very picky with my mascara and I have a lot of mascaras on the go right now. So I just went for the mini. Um, I have tried it out once and I wasn't too impressed. I liked it on the bottom lashes, but I didn't really like it on the top. It didn't give me as much volume as I like in my lashes, um, but it was really, really nice for length and separation. So that's why I liked it on my bottoms and not my top so much. I will keep playing around with it and see what I think. And then the last product in this crazy large haul is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This guy has been so hyped up lately on like YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. I feel like everyone's talking about this. So I needed to see what the hype is, if it's worth it or not. Um, so I picked it up. I used it yesterday and I really, really liked how it made my skin look. And I do think it made my makeup hold up better throughout the day. So I'll keep playing around. I'll update you guys in my full face Charlotte. I do believe in setting sprays and I like trying new ones. So when I heard such amazing things about this and I love Charlotte, it was kind of a no brainer that I was going to purchase it. I love the airbrush flawless foundation and I love the airbrush flawless powder. So I figured those products with this would just give me like the ultimate flawless face, if that makes sense. And with that, that is everything that I picked up from this Sephora VIB sale time of year birthday Sephora haul, treat yourself, whatever I'm going to end up calling this. Um, let me know if you shopped the Sephora sale, if you've tried any of the products that I picked up, what are your thoughts on them, what are you picking up during the sale, if you did film your own Sephora VIB sale, link, feel free to link it down below, I would love to watch it and see what you got. Hauls are like my favorite thing to watch 
ever. I know it promotes consumerism and trying new products and not using what you currently have, but sometimes you just want to try some new stuff. So that's what I picked up during my sale. Please be sure during my sale. That is what I picked up during the sale. That is my haul. Um, please be sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you aren't already. Really, really does help me out and I would appreciate it a lot. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope that you have or had an absolutely awesome day. Bye. Thank you.